New developments this morning surrounding the driver police say is responsible for a crash that killed three teens over the weekend. The 31 year old woman is facing multiple charges this morning. This comes as the community held a large tribute last night for those young soccer players who were trying to get to a tournament. CBS Wars Real Crane is live at a mature hospital where that suspect is being treated this morning. Real. Good morning, Mary Bell and Lauren. Yeah, the woman that police say was behind the wheel at the time of that crash, they have now identified that driver late last night. This, as she remains under watch here in the hospital, the police say they now have what they need to make an arrest. As North Miami inducted its new mayor and commissioners Tuesday evening, the council paused to remember three teenagers who lost their lives over the weekend. We don't understand tonight is our induction ceremony, but at the same time, we can't forget those three teenagers who died last Saturday in this terrible accident. As the mayor was being sworn in, North Miami police working the case, looking into 31-year-old Miriam Kulabele, found at the scene of the crash behind the wheel. Police now say they have probable cause to charge her with three counts of DUI manslaughter and three counts of vehicular homicide. No, I'm her mom. I don't want to be on the picture. No? I just find out this year I don't know anything. I don't want the picture. Kula Bailey's mother had nothing to say to CBS4. Surveillance video from early Saturday shows three people walking over the tracks on 125th Street and 13th Place in North Miami. It was about 5.15 a.m. Moments later, a car races across the screen. The three teenagers who simply were trying to catch a bus to get to a soccer tournament. 17-year-old Richard Dume, 13-year-old Gideon Desir, and 15-year-old Lenz Desir all died. <laughs> Family members have had a really hard time understanding how three boys who were doing everything right are now gone. You should charge her, you know, for what she did. She took three boys' life. You know, they have a bright future ahead of them. One, two, three, three. At Edison High School, where Dume and Lenz attended, students released balloons and tried to make sense of it all. He meant so much to the program. You know, he wasn't, he was a good kid, dual sport kid. Everything that you, I look at him like my son. Going to school today was very depressing. You know, the school was down. You know, a lot of kids knew him. He was a good kid. You know, he, gre he greeted everyone. He walked in the room. He was a good kid, always smiling. Kula Bailey has a long history of traffic violations, from speeding to driving on a suspended license. According to investigators, her license was suspended Saturday. Police are now watching her at Aventura Hospital, where she is recovering from injuries that happened during the crash. Well, again, those charges pending for Kula Bailey. Her, she to be charged is to be charged rather with three counts again of DUI manslaughter, three counts of vehicular homicide, as those funeral services are now being planned for those teenage boys. We're live in North Miami, Riel Creighton, CBS4 this morning.